So we have hit the road for MPK season five. It's finally time. We're ready. Uh, we still have yet to test the car. Uh, you've seen in the last couple videos there, we had some trouble. Uh, seemed to have it all sorted out, but we still need to test this thing. So we're, we've left Oklahoma. We've made it to Knoxville, Tennessee on our way to uh, Galat Motorsports Park over in North Carolina. Uh, that's where we're gonna test the car. However, currently we're in a Home Depot parking lot, Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, as you can see there, we broke out the Lincoln, the Lincoln TIG welder. And uh, as soon as Sean gets an extension cord made up, I'm gonna do some welding. Oh, yeah. You got this? Do I got what? This. <laughs> the extension cord? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I would hope so. I mean, wiring's normally my thing, but I'm not a residential type cat. I'm more of an automotive well, cat. Because white's ground and black's yeah, and not. And I'm not saying that I am either. But my brother is. Like, literally, he's he a professional. A yeah, he is a wire. Yeah. So, you know. It's got to be in the jeans or something. Uh, no. Oh. No, it is not. No. Uh, then you own do, a power line company? Yes. And, and you don't really like electricity? I do not like electricity at all. But. Right on. No, there's yeah. a reason I don't like it. <laughs> so, we've made it, what, 10 hours or so now? Let's see. Um, to to Knoxville, Tennessee ish somewhere around in there is that is that how far we've made it maybe you know maybe 11 maybe 12 somewhere yeah, okay. in there right. we're not quite where we're going yet no how about that no we are not um no it's been shitty the whole time it's been raining it's been rain ever, ever since we left it's been raining literally and we haven't really had everything's gone good yeah uh we stopped a couple of times we torqued the Retorque the wheels on the trailer. For those of you that are worried, we did retorque them. Everything's good. Couple of them moved a little bit, but nothing, yeah. nothing drastic. Yeah. The wheel spacers are, you know, wheel spacers are working great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you did you see all the comments of people suggesting we do exactly what we did though? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So that was a two-part video, and the man, first I'll part. I'll be honest with you, man. I haven't got a chance to, to read a lot of comments lately, just because we've been so busy. I know. I know. Like we've been so busy uh, building the small tire car. We call it that. Oh, we already talked about it in the last video. Don't. Yeah, you told them what we were doing. Okay. So we. I, I just. I don't really know what to call it. Oh, you know? uh, the build um, show. Yeah. Okay. The build show. The, we've been the... so busy doing that, and then getting everything ready to to go. To MPK, I I just I don't. Know. We always have a lot going on, but right now it's it's more than normal. Well, for sure. and I still have to find time to spend time with my family, to go and do stupid little things like the Hot Wheels show. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people like that. Hey, it was too. pretty cool. I had a good time. It was pretty like, cool. If I would have been going riding racers, I'd have been right there. It I, doesn't I, matter how tired I am. I, I I did read a couple of comments on that one just because I thought I wanted to see what everybody thought about yeah. it. And I saw people go, how do you have time to do all this? I really don't. You make time. I, well, I don't sleep. Yeah. So I have to. And while I'm working, most generally, Aaron and Aiden get sleep. Yeah. So it, it's the same thing as whenever... Let's take it way, way back to whenever we used to really street race. Uh, and I say really street race because I'm not under any false... That, that We know what we do. We know what we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm talking about back in the day. So I used to stay out all fucking night. Oh, yeah. And then I still had a family that I had to do family things with on yeah. Saturday or on Sundays. So I just pay the price. You yeah. know, it is what it is. It, it was worth it to me. Yeah. You know, to be out all night, I'd get home at five, six, oh, seven. Yeah. Sometimes the sun would be coming up oh, and yeah. my son would just be getting up because yeah. back then he actually wanted to do things <laughs> with me. And he, yep. he was he was little enough that dad, dad, he'd come running in there and jump yeah. on be in bed with us, yeah. you know? And uh, so you can't just go, hey, I was out all night. I gotta go back to sleep. You yeah. can't do that. So I used to go, I used to brag as I was going home about, I was going to sleep and you were like, yeah, 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 have fun. Yep. So, you know, uh, and, and so that's the stuff that, that I have to do to, to live the life that, that I lived yeah. and you know, it was worth it. Yeah. So, uh, so that's what I still have to do sometimes. We do it a lot. Yeah, I know. But. So we have a lot of fun though too because of it. Yeah. 
but you know that's that's the stuff that uh, that we have to do. Whoever made flatheads. Oh, I know. It's the dumbest the, thing the, ever. The, the worst. Yeah. Why are they still making them? Why has everything not been know. switched over to Phillips? I don't know, but this sucks. So, um, so yes, I did watch a little bit of that one. I thought it was cool. Um, but there's still certain things that, that we got to get done no matter what. Yep. So, anyways... Did you tell what we're doing here? Uh, I did. I I said I'm fixing to do some welding. I didn't really talk about why. So we lost. We didn't really lose the bag. <laughs> it was intact wherever it was whole. Yes. Um. This is so stupid. So last night we're driving down the road. Bear in mind, it's pouring rain. Yes. It's night. We're going up and down mountains. So many mountains. That's the three things that I hate while I'm driving. Dark, rain, and mountains. Dark, rain, and mountains. Yep. So all three of, of, of what I despise the most about driving. Even any one of those three will make me fuck it. Yep. Call it a day. Yep, we're done. You know I mean, we're done. <laughs> we made it far enough. Pull, pull over right then and there. <laughs> Are you good? Yep. Pull over right then and there and be done. Yep. And uh this was a deal where we really needed to be there by tonight at 7.30. We ain't gonna make that either. That deal. I mean, it's fine, it's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. But, uh, so anyways, uh, I start noticing as we're driving, the steering wheel in this truck and anybody that has, has messed with bags at all understands This still has leaf springs on the front of this truck. Mm -hmm. So if this thing's all the way aired out and you start airing it up, you can watch the steering wheel spin. It's just part of it. It's something that's putting up with your bullshit. Yeah. Uh, it's like having a panhard bar on the back and it, and it slides over. So going down the road, when you hit a big bump and everybody knows the front ends of these trucks do this, the steering wheel will, yeah. and it'll kind of make it, you know? Well, anyways. So the steering wheel, ever since we got this thing bagged, depending on ride height of if you're parking lot pimping, uh -huh. the steering wheel will be way over here like this. If you're driving and the front end is up and it rides really good, the steering wheel's over here like this. <laughs> so, you know, you got to put up with yeah. some bullshit. Yeah. So I start noticing last night after we went through some construction in... I don't know where we were, Nashville. but yeah, in Nashville. Nashville. just before Nashville, it was terrible. It was horrible. So, we go through all this construction. And I start noticing that now I didn't change anything on the right height and my steering wheel is over here like this. Yeah. And I'm going, you know, when did this happen? Yeah. So, I ended up just saying, man, I got to pull over. I got I to see what's going on. There's something going on up there. Yeah. As soon as we pull over, I noticed the truck is sitting like this. Yeah. Have no idea how I didn't notice. Probably because we're going in and out of construction and everything's moving and, and it's just everything's upset. Yeah. Where's the... Where's the... So... <clears throat> so we noticed as soon as we pulled over that, that that's what the deal is. Yes. And... Uh, Where's this screw? Is this it? Oh, was it none of this together whenever you got it? No. Oh, okay. So, we pull over to Love's, and I thought, man, I'm gonna go ahead and... I know, I didn't fuel up then. So, I look, I pop the hood, Pull the hood back, whatever you want to call it. And uh your truck's got a tilt front end on it. It does. It does. <laughs> and I noticed that the front bag was all it kinds of messed up. Look. I don't know what you can call that because it was so bad. It was very contorted. It was not in its original location. It was not. It was it was squished out the front. It was squished out the back. It was messed up. 
maybe you can uh, take the picture that I have and yeah. put it in there somehow. Yeah. Um, it was messed up. Yeah. So I thought, man, we're screwed. I don't, at this point, I don't even it know. It looked like the bag was blown out and all kinds of stuff. It like did. we didn't really know what we were gonna do. It did. So luckily, this big rig has uh, that Bigfoot uh, deal on it. That it's got a self-leveling system on it, like a motorhome. Yes, because it's a motorhome. Yeah, yeah. It ain't no semi. You gotta have a license to drive a semi. Just try this out. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, wow. Hmm? Now this will just plug into the back? Mm -hmm. So we need our extension cord. Yes. Where did you put it? Right here? Yes. So, luckily that thing... will pick the whole front end of this truck up. So that's what we did. Let all the air out. That's, this bag still had air in it. Yeah. Let all the air out and noticed that there's one bolt underneath. There's one bolt underneath on the bag, which is not in the middle of the bag. It's over to one side. And then there's one bolt on the top that actually has a nut on it, and then the air goes into the top. Anybody that knows these bags knows what I'm talking about. Well, this spun out this way. Uh -huh. This spun out the opposite way. Uh -huh. It busted up the shock, and the whole thing was riding like this. So now we're trying to fix it. Yeah. So we can't... And I get it, man. There's two bolt holes on the bottom. There should have been two bolts in it. Right. In my opinion. Right. Should have been two bolts in it. There's not. Uh, to put two bolts in it, the axle's got to come out. Yes. I'm not pulling the axle we out are of this not truck equipped. on the side of the road. <laughs> no, no. We're not. We're just not doing it. So. So. Ooh, that catches all the stuff from the back tire. Oh, yeah. So. Since we're not doing that, we're going to fix it the only way that I know how to do. Yeah. We're going to weld on a couple of tabs to keep that thing from sliding out on both bags. And I've noticed, now that I know what I know about this deal, the, the passenger side's been doing it for a while. Oh yeah. Just never blown out the way that that <laughs> one blew out last night. Yeah. So we got the front end up right now. Here, we can, we can show it. We got the front end up right now. Uh, I got in here with a hammer. I knocked it all back, and then you can see where I've been knocking it back, and then oh, yeah. I ground everything down. Yeah. Okay, see, I even used my old bender right oh, here. Yeah. Now I'm going to lock this off here, uh -huh. lock this off here, and then you're gonna weld that on what I got ground down right there. Okay. That, and then we'll do it here and here on both front bags and it'll keep that deal. It's only pushing out this way. Yes. And it can only push out that way because the bolt is here. Yes. So it wants to rotate out this way. Yes. We're gonna keep that deal from rotating. Yeah. We're gonna see what kind of penetration you can get on that deal. <laughs> All of it. Without, uh, luckily, it's got that big aluminum piece underneath the bag and uh, you're not gonna get the bag hot. Oh, okay, yeah. I can say, whoa, 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 aluminum? I don't know. Those bags took a lot of abuse. I cannot believe that thing held air last That's night. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's, uh, I got everything I think ground good enough that see right here, I think that you can put one from here uh -huh. to about right here uh -huh. and then put one weld underneath from about there to about there uh -huh. and do the same thing on both sides. Yep, I think we'll be all right. <clears throat> We've driven for four hours since we fixed that deal uh -huh. over there uh -huh. and it hasn't done it again, but we're going, anybody who knows I-40 around these parts, we're going up and down all these mountains and we're, turning as we're going down a hill you know and i'm white knuckling the yep. shit out of the steering wheel and it just ain't worth it man i have my whole livelihood in this truck yeah it is so we stopped and we went let's take a break let's fix this deal yeah. it ain't worth getting to the track to test a little bit earlier whenever testing's not till tomorrow anyways right. i can roll in there tomorrow morning the only reason I wanted to be there tonight before 7.30 is because that's when they say they're closing the gates. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to park somewhere and then pull in oh. in the morning. It ain't a big deal. Yeah. But uh, this is a, a pro mod race uh -huh. that we're going to go test at anyways. So, we knew it was a pro mod. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to test with the pro mod guys because we got a pro mod. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they're about to get fucked up, too. Yeah. <laughs> Grab so, a lane, fool. So, yeah, that's right. That's right. We'll see where we qualify in this deal. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
Now bear in mind, we don't have no passes on this car. Nope. And we have to race it in two days. Yes. So we're gonna go try to, you know, see what we can do. And Jeff Lutz is meeting us there because he has a pro mod. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if Jeff Lutz gets there before seven thirty, Jeff Lutz is there. No, 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 no oh, he's, he's not? not. He's not gonna make it wow. until eight. So oh, he said that wow. he was gonna. I just got a phone with him. He's gonna call the guy, and the guy already said, and I'm pretty sure it's Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Driven Bart. Yep. So says he's gonna leave the the back gate open for us. That way, whenever we're ready to roll, all we do is boom, go out the nice. back gate. So back door, it's yes. gonna be nice. And I told Lutz, if if we're right next to that back gate, just let him know, hey man, we got this. We'll we'll close this deal up yeah. whenever we get there. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be nine or 10 before I get there now. Yeah. Because this is gonna be a two hour deal. Yeah. Uh, Most of it was looking for all talking. the equipment, trying to make yes. this deal happen. Cause we don't have the right cord to go to our generator. We don't have a long enough cord to go to our generator. Uh, I had to go an hour out of the way earlier to get a bottle of Argon for the welder. Yeah, because we were this close to being ready. Almost prepared. We just didn't think that we were going to need a welder. Yeah, I mean, and if we did, there was gonna be somebody at the track with the rest of the yeah. stuff I needed. and his name's Jeff Lutz. Yeah, and he was gonna do the welding. That's right. Turns out we needed everything and I'm gonna have to weld. Okay, I don't so. know if this is long enough or not, but we're gonna see. All right, so we're gonna get this deal hooked up. I'm gonna finish hooking up the welder and uh, start burning some stuff in here pretty quick. Um, yeah, or or we can do it like this. How, how, whatever you think. Whatever's gonna be the easiest to get it. Here, let me start off with one that's not so big. Okay. That's what she said. Uh, did you hear her? Uh, I did. <laughs> she got that from me. What do you think? Like, just right there, and then come over here and do the same thing? Yeah. That one's so little, it don't really have much curve to it, does it? Do you want me to hold that? Uh, I don't know, let me see. It's gonna be windy. Yeah. gas huh? it's just not flowing any gas yeah. 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 screw <laughs> alright hey I mean how much you want I could probably sit here and hold it uh, when you hold it how much does it go up to I whatever I, however far I push it in watch 20 would be good 20 Goddamn, we're stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, it went down to 10 as soon as it did that, so I need to put more on it. I'll bet I have a... Uh, my scripts. We can hold that on there. No, uh, that's not a problem. We, I just need gas. Okay. I'll get you gas. Go. Okay, I got a tack. At 20. I need to get in a position where I can. I think I'll be good there. Can you keep on with me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tell me where. Okay. 
You ready? three more times. Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were struggling back there. Was your good? shaking? I mean, I'm starting to. Yeah. I mean, is that good? That deal's gonna hold? Yeah. Uh, okay, do we want, we don't have to put another one on right now. Man, I, like, think, I think we should. Like, I just, well, I, I wish you didn't have I to hold we that should. screwdriver. No, 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 it's fine. Hello. So the deal is, hey. is it, it's got, it's pivoting here. Yes. Yeah, on the side, right and then it's got to rotate out. This is going to keep it from rotating. Okay, no problem. I'll play that. Yeah. Okay. Man, whatever you think. I, I mean, I I'm, think that this right here will get it as long as that right there holds. Okay, let me, uh, let's, let's, I'll make another like, pass over it. Either that or you can hit the side here, yeah. hit the side there, yeah. and I think it'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Give me some more gas. Um, and I can hold it. It's just, I, at this Go point, ahead. I'm not real sure that fucking it needs it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever, you know that. Uh, when I get under there, I'll probably have Aaron step on the pedal and you hold the gas and <laughs> give this thing some heat. I mean, hey, I, I can, you know, like, yeah, if you want me to. We probably should just go in there and get a bolt. At the hardware store? Yeah, but, I mean, because at some point we're going to need it. Yeah. We don't need it right now, though. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Say max speed 75 mile per hour on them. That's what you drive, right? Huh? That's what you drive, right? Yeah, every bit of it. Good? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty penetrated. Then we're good. Let <laughs> me fucking flick it off, I'll be mad. <laughs> Hit it with a hammer. Test it. Yeah. Beat that motherfucker. No, I think we're good. I do have a hammer over here. I need to sharpen my tungsten again. Okay, this side. I'm cool with just one for now, because it really hasn't ever moved. Okay. It moved a little. That side over there, let's do two. Okay. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. It's it's denting in the metal. So we're good. Not that I don't trust his welds, you know. It'll be fine. And look at this. We broke this deal too. Now I has got to fix that. Okay, let's get set up over on the other side then. Oh, and uh, the, the battery rotates on this deal. Yeah, I know. Huh. Is there a way to keep it from rotating? Yeah. Surely there is. Probably. Uh, 
sharpener on my list. Yeah, tungsten is. Uh, oh, is it's it getting hot? Oh, yeah, it's hard. Um, it's real hard. All right, where is the other ones? Okay, give me gas. Got it. Sabre come out of the trailer and do this. So I held it. Do what? What I'm doing right now. Oh. So you got the arm strength for that? Mm -hmm. Check like you don't have the arm strength, huh? Yeah. All right. Good. That one's good. Okay. That one even looks good. Well, you know us, we're all about looking good. Um, okay, I'm going to need Sabre to do that again, and I'll hold this other right. one. Right back in here? Yep. Do you have the other? Oh, no, here it is. Sabre! All right, let me put my helmet back on. Okay. You know, once you push it and it goes, then you just push it over and it locks in. Good? Yep. Get it one time, Phantom? Because it should go down. Yep, it went down. Hold that. Come on, let go. Okay, hit it. Just one time? Yeah, that's good. Okay, here. Hold it that way. Got it? Oh shit, sorry. Good. Oh, you bat. God damn it. Sorry. Good. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I need some. I need some rod. Sorry. Uh, y'all see that rod anywhere? Here it is. Mm. Still got it. Got you it. Good, nope. Hang on, she's readjusting. Yeah, thanks. Hit it one time. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Need more gas. Push it harder, Savory. Honey, come here. Got it. Okay. It's, it's stuck. Can you go hold the gas? Yep. Ready, fam? Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna have to call that good. Okay. But is it good though? I mean, that first one is, and this one's gonna hold, it just don't. Oh, yeah. it's, it's pulling out a lot of grease. It's fine. I mean, this is just until it gets home and they fix it. Yeah. Like, I get it. We may make a all season on this. Yeah. But this is, it might be just permanent, a year permanent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this has got to be fixed, right? For sure. Okay. Uh, I've got to fix the uh, the air ride now. And 
by the time I get that done, you should, uh, you know, have me some chicken nuggets ready. And then uh, we're going to leave. At least it's not raining. At least the rain held off. Man, we made it. Our parking lot repairs held and we made it. The other, what it was gave it? me the confidence to do 80 in, in all the mountains. Yeah, it did, stuff. in the rain and shit. Mm -hmm. I'd look up from texting and shit and I couldn't see you. Yeah. And then I'd get a text from you. You good? Yeah, man. Yep. Just chilling. Yeah. Uh, I love that truck. Like, yeah. It, dude, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Man. Yeah. Like, aside from, which we knew that there was going to be. There wasn't no problems with that truck when we got it. No. This is a problem that we have made. You gotta deal with your bullshit. that thing bagged in the front, yep. you know? So, I, I feel like it's good to go. So, that's that's something else that we don't have to worry about. And then last night, it was driving amazing. Yeah. So, man, the thing's never rode better. It's never drove better. It's uh, it's good to go. Good deal. So, we're here at Galat Motorsports Park. Uh, we tested here last year uh -huh. in between races. I can't remember which ones. We I don't won't know, talk but about it was it. 250 miles away. It was. It was, yep. it was plenty far away, and uh, I don't know, we're back here now before we head down to the first MPK, so car's ready, like it's fueled up, it's we put think together, it's ready. It, look, we are prepared, alright, we are prepared to no prepare, or something. Yeah, we're going to let off the button and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, I'm only going to go half track, right. and yeah, no I am, and then, uh, but... Up until that half track, it should be set on kill. By a half track, this thing's already making well over 70 pounds of boost. Yes. So. It should make that on this It path. makes it just after the 60 foot, to be totally honest with yes. you. Yes. Uh, by what, one? Like 1 1.2 to 1.5 usually, 1.6-ish. Yeah, because it's only it's got close to 40 at one second. So. Yeah. At one second, <laughs> 40 pounds. Yep. So. I mean, you know, anything below that, and that's just meant for uh, the toter to get you to the track. Yeah. 30 pounds of boost? Yeah, that's barely that's a what party. The, that's what the rig My does truck makes that. going up hills. <laughs> so, yeah, these two big singles are going to be singing here in a minute. Yeah, we got these two big 98mm uh, singles on the car now, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, about, we're about to see what it's going to do. I hope it works better than the than twin, than the twin Now, I think there's something to that. Like, I think the singles are the way to go. That's right. So two big singles. Cars hooked up, gassed up, got the radios in it. I think we're about to head up there, so we'll turn the cameras on and pick it so. up there. Yeah, nice chair. So, man, first uh, time off the button, that's pretty good. No, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. Uh, you can see a few things, you know, that, I mean, we can talk about it. I mean, it, it, it's the first time we let off the button since the, the winter upgrades. And uh, first off, I went a 050 on the light. That's not bad. I'm, I'm gonna throw that out there. I bad. wasn't even really trying, and that's probably why I did okay. Because yeah. <laughs> I wasn't focused on the light, yeah. because I had a whole lot of other stuff. But when you got Jeff Lutz in the lane next to you, yeah. that old man is a racer, yeah, okay? He and he been cutting lights, I don't even, I ain't even gonna pretend like I know how long. Dude. But I promise you, yeah. before I ever even knew about hot rods, he was cutting lights. Yep. Uh, 
Back whenever I was sitting in lawn chairs at car shows, <laughs> he was cutting lights. Yep. So I, I think that whenever you're racing somebody like Lutz, and there's a couple people out there, Dave cuts good lights, Chuck yep. always cuts good lights. Yep. Uh, I usually leave on Dave though. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you go blind up next to him. So that's always in the back of your head, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Like that's obviously the first trip down the track that we've made in this car. Yep. And it was still in my head. Don't let this old man leave on you. <laughs> and for the record, he's only a couple years older than I am. Yeah. But I like to call him old man. Um, so we let off the button. We go 102, still new tires. Yep. You know, so 102, that's, I'm cool with that. 102 to the 60 foot. 102 to the 60 foot. It went 262 to the 330, which that's stout. That's strong. Yes. You know, and uh, about the 60 foot, I felt the car come up and whenever you start feeling the car you know it when it hits three and a half g's is yeah, that is no, that what it, you're feeling it, it went three and a half g's on that pass uh, started to drift a little bit left but you know what are you going to do this uh, this was yeah. literally the first pass under power so we're going to fix that this time or at least we're going to try we're going to stagger the wheelie bars before we go messing with the car so so you know at the end of last year once we really started getting after the car uh, we started staggering the wheelie bars. Up until that point, we'd been running them straight up. Well, when you're getting after it, you got to adjust some things. So one thing we adjusted was we put some staggering in the wheelie bars. Well, I didn't know if they still needed it after all the changes we made over the winter. So I set the wheelie bars straight up. They need it. I did point you just a touch right, yeah. but it still drove left off oh, the it's button. Gonna, so. The wheelie bars are going to overcome that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's not a big deal. But let me show. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I lifted at... Here, we can go right over here. This right here is my RPM. Uh -huh. There's where it dumps off. I lifted at 2.629 into the run. So uh -huh. I lifted at half track. You yeah. don't get no better than half track than, I mean, we went 262 with a one. Yeah, you were on it. I don't know, I think it just happened that way. Yeah. I don't think I, don't think I went, oh, this is probably half track. Yeah. I think I went, yeah, it's kind of going left. Oh, there's a center you line. Know? Was that wasper guy, doing yeah, in here? Wasper. TJ got <laughs> TJ got in some waspers. Uh, so, hey Chance. So we lifted there, and we went 262. So we lift literally. You don't get any closer to half track. Yep. We coasted to a 419 at 137. 138. 138. 138. I don't want to teach you how to know a mile an hour. I mean, 419. I remember when we went a 419. I do too. That's the fastest we had ever been. Yeah. We were stoked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 419. Yeah. So, you know, hey, I, I'm not real sure that you could ask for a better first pass than that one. So, but you can see the reason that it wasn't happy to the 60 foot. And if I clear all this out and only put the map up here, Here's where we leave, right here. That's your at, boost right this there. This is my boost. Here's where we leave at 15.8, okay? Look how it just lazily runs out here. Yeah. And at the 60 foot, it still only had 26. Okay, but see how it jumps up? It should have let off the button right here and started jumping up like this. Yes. That's what it should have done. Uh, so it was pretty lazy out of the hole. Uh, hopefully we're gonna fix that. But it did make 69.7 pounds of boost before we lifted at the 2.63. 69. May have lifted a little early, 2.61. Yeah. Uh, if you click it over one more time it's at 2.63 and we're already losing yeah we're, we're already off the boost so i mean it's not a bad not, first it's pass. not a bad first pass in fact i mean it's i'm gonna go further than that and say it's pretty damn good first pass i'm happy uh in the car that is why we would drag race it, it's cool to hear you excited over the radio like it's been a few passes you know yeah. what i mean since yeah. So, hopefully everything goes good. It felt strong, uh, the motor felt good, the motor sounds different. Oh yeah. Like, 
it sounds just the changing of the, the headers and all that it sounds real uh real strong so strong like a bull yeah, yeah that's right 120 psi of oil pressure all the way down the track all of it how much <laughs> oil pressure yes how much oil pressure does that thing make all of it uh we just put everything up i think we should get dressed go make another you one better get dressed you're gonna get yelled at by dad yeah dad's here he's yeah. gonna yell at us yeah you gonna make another one or what yeah was you going, was you planning on making yeah. two passes today <laughs> I know how you street outlaws make one pass a weekend, man, and y'all think y'all's racers. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yes, before Dad yells at us, what time is it? Is it 1 o'clock? Yes. Holy shit. We need to make two more passes, hopefully just this one, yeah. and it goes straight and everything's fine. We're going to load up. And, go. and if that's the case, we're going to get the hell out of here. So, All right. let's go do it. changes yes yeah we were gonna put some rear steer in it but i'm glad we held off yeah. uh, so so what else? we do pretty much everything uh hanging and we're not the last people to set this up we picked it up from rk he set it up he said it i was in the car when he put the negative in it on the ground yeah it's just tough to do whenever we do everything hanging yeah you know uh, first off, we can't fit underneath the car with me sitting in it. So right. it, it, it's the same thing as long as you have a starting point. Well, hanging this thing, I can see that. It had a whole lot. It was pushing down. The anti-roll bar, two fucking turns of pushing down on that tire over there, which is uh, going to make it go left. Yeah. But if you think about it, you put my weight in the car, it's going to do this right here yeah. so that two turns pushing down ain't gonna do what it was doing right. but now we know where it's at and we can make all of our changes from here whether we whether we go out and it goes left again this is a, a move that we got to make just to see so so enough of the technical bs how fast is this thing though? it's fast man like uh, fast fast or uh we just went uh we just came we we just went as fast as we've ever been. I was gonna say, we've never told anyone exactly, you know, not our YouTube peeps anyways, how fast we've actually been. Yeah. We just uh, pretty much tied the fastest ET we've ever went on our second pass out. And uh, we also went uh, 199.6 on that pass. Uh, 72 pounds of boost is all. Oh, we, we made, what are you waiting on? We made 79 last year. Yeah. So we're uh, we're fixing to see what it'll do. You just trying to break this motor in, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. It might as well, right? Yeah. Second, first full trip down the track, 72 pounds of boost. Yeah. Let's just. That's a nice, easy 72, though. It was. It was. It didn't even know that it's making 72. No. That motor has no idea it made 72. Nope. These, uh, they made the horsepower. These these big singles seem to be putting in some work. Man. Yeah. You know, not not quite as much as the twin 98s last year, but they're close. They're close. People are gonna have no idea what we're talking about. No, it's funny though. Oh yeah, raise it back up.
so three pretty good passes man yeah no i'm, I'm happy I'm happy car did what we told it to when we told it to do it and uh still didn't make the amount of boost that we wanted to make but we did uh we did run 201 mile an hour on the last pass 201.49 uh, yeah you know almost 202 yeah, yeah which is pretty close to 205 <laughs> that's pretty damn close to it <laughs> So, I mean, way closer than 195 is to For sure, for sure. So, yeah, no, it, it was a good test session for sure. Uh, we did what we wanted to do. We only made three passes, and uh, they were all real close to some of the fastest passes that we've made. Yep. So, can't yep. beat that. Everything's good with the car. We only had one thing fall off of it. Yeah, that's, that's hey, you know, yep. that's an improvement. It is. It's an it improvement. Is. We've so. had lots of things fall off. And multiple things in one pass. Yeah, oh, yeah. So... Uh, the hood is a little messed up now, you know, but hell, we were probably going to mess that deal up anyways. Oh, no doubt. It was either mess it up on the car or set it on the ground and somebody step on it. Yeah, so. or, or let the wind catch it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's all one piece now. Yeah. So, you know, like a big parachute. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. now we're good, man. Uh, they going to start running again here pretty soon. All these cars. It, it was already last call. So. Why'd you stop right there? Oh. <laughs> so it was last call, and then as soon as all these cars are out of the stage lane, we're gonna back this rig right down this road and pull out. And so, then, yeah, I mean, that's gonna do it. Um, now all we have left to do is go to MPK, and something's been eluding us. We're, we're going after it, so. Yeah, um, now we definitely need to win one, you know? And at some point in this season, I do believe that we will. Yeah. So. Might as well kick it off right. Yeah, it'd be nice. We've we've got the car to do it. You spent all the money this winter to to make sure that we're as prepared as we can possibly be. And uh, now, uh, you know, it seems like the car is ready. And now it's just up to us to to do our shit. So, which is seems to be the deal breaker sometimes. But you know, we've we've gotten way better. We've yeah. gotten way better. Oh, so. Yeah. You know, we came out here, we made three good passes today with just me and you. Yeah. What I mean, you really do? didn't even get yelled at. No. I mean, Steve only yelled at me one time. I mean, what isn't really a yell? Like, no? It was a sincere, hey, man, you're fucking up. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you stay, look, baby, you're staying in the car way too goddamn long. <laughs> you got to slow this motherfucker yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, so. I told him I like to drive into the shoots. <laughs> He's like, that's well, cool and all, but you're running cool out all. half a ten more than you need maybe, to. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, half a second more than I need yeah, to. Yeah, half a second, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know, you know, and it can't be good on the motor. Because by I the mean, time I lifted that last pass, I bet I was doing 220. So, so this thing has really got like eight passes on it instead of four since you like to run quarter mile. Yeah, but we're only going to put three dally marks on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've already put four. I kind of not want it, Tulsa. No, it it's got to count. It's got to count. But we're always going to remember that. We're going to uh -huh. go, yeah, but that one in Tulsa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you missed it. Man. So, yeah, no, so that's it, right? That is get it. In the, we're get gonna in the rig and head that way. Finish piling stuff in here. I'm going to jump in the Ford. You're going to jump in the Pete. We're going to roll south. So, uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching our videos. Uh, share, you know, share the channel. Like the video. Comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Tell us we suck if that is what you so choose it is a I wouldn't be wrong. it is a free country and you are entitled to do and say as you please so um we'll catch on the next one we're gonna go